Hey, hey, it's Jacqueline. And today I wanna to talk about all the bells and whistles on your car that help you communicate with all the people around you. So by the end of this lesson, you're gonna understand how to use your turn signals, how to use your brights, and how to use your hazard lights and your horn to signal to people to keep you safe. So let's start with your turn signals. When you put on your left turn signal, there's a flashing light in the front of the car and behind, and that alerts pedestrians, cyclists, motorcycles, and cars of your intention to turn left. You might notice when you're out on the road as a passenger that some people forget to use their turn signals. Please always be someone that indicates, that uses their turn signals to tell people your intention. That way, all the people around you in front and behind will have an alert and they will avoid you, hopefully, during your cautious move. If you put on your right turn signal, same thing, flashing yellow light in the front right of the car and the front and the back, alerting people on the right side of your intentions, and it gives people a chance to yield to you if they know that you're coming. Now I wanna talk about the hazard lights. Hazard lights are something that you're supposed to use if there is a hazard ahead of you to alert the people behind you to be cautious. Unfortunately, we see a lot of people in the community using hazard lights as a way to say, I'm gonna stop and double park. That is not something that you should do. It's something that you've probably already seen or you will definitely see the more you spend time on the road. Please do not be a driver that double parks and puts on their hazard lights. That is dangerous. That is you or the other drivers creating a hazard. Instead, think about your hazard lights, which are flashing yellow lights in the front and flashing red lights behind you as a signal to the people behind you that there's danger ahead. Sometimes when I use my hazard lights, I live in a community where there are flocks of turkeys that sometimes walk across the road and move really slowly. And so cars have no choice but to stop. If I'm stopping for a turkey crossing the road, the turkey is not visible to the car behind me, so they have no idea why I'm stopped. So I put on my hazard lights to alert the car behind me that there's a hazard ahead and I'm waiting for it to clear. I also use my hazard lights if I see somebody walking really slowly across this, the road and I notice that traffic on the right or left does not seem to be slowing down. By putting on my hazard lights, that alerts the people behind me that there's a pedestrian crossing and they also need to stop. A third time that I use my hazard lights is when I'm on the freeway. It's really common to be on the freeway and to be traveling at high speed and then all of a sudden traffic stops ahead of you. I always put on my hazard lights because I want to alert the person behind me that traffic is stopping just in case they were changing the radio station or illegally being on their phone or engrossed in a conversation and they just aren't paying attention. None of those things are acceptable. But my job is to try to keep my car as safe as possible. And if I put on my hazard lights and I brighten up the back of my car with flashing red lights, it's more likely that the car behind me is gonna notice and I'm not gonna get rear-ended. Even though it's not my fault if I get rear-ended, it's still likely to hurt and of course there will be damage to my car. So I want to avoid that. So those are three times when I use hazard lights as a part of my everyday life. If there's a small object or creature crossing the road in front of me, if there's a slower pedestrian crossing and I feel like I want to alert people that they need to slow down to let the pedestrian cross, or if traffic comes to a sudden stop and I want to make sure that the person behind me notices that we're stopping quickly. I also want to talk about another communication light that you have, and those are your bright lights. 
you probably remember learning that you can put on your bright lights if you're on an empty country road to brighten the road. Another thing that people use their brights for is to flash and let somebody know it's your turn or I'm gonna stay here, you go ahead or hey, your lights aren't on. That flashing, it's a double flash, you pull the turn signal knob back, one, two, and that flashes your brights. And if you sit in your car, you can see the blue light light up on the dashboard when you flash them. And that is a way that you can communicate with people ahead of you to say, I see you, you go ahead. Another time I use my bright lights is when I'm on the freeway and I notice that there's a car with their turn signal on and they want to change lanes, but they're not sure that I'm gonna let them. So I flash my brights and that is a universal communication that means I see you, you go ahead. It's a really nice way to help people out when they're stuck trying to make a lane change, maybe when traffic is moving slowly on the freeway and they have to get over, but there's not enough room and so they're just waiting for that one nice person to yield. You be that nice person and flash your brights and say, after you, I got you. And as I mentioned, there are times when you might flash your brights at someone to alert them that they've forgotten to turn on their headlights. It's quite common to be driving around just at dusk or when it gets dark and see people that have forgotten to turn on their lights. Those folks can get a ticket. And of course, it's also dangerous to drive without your lights on when it's dark. By flashing your lights, your brights, by flashing your brights, you can alert someone, hey, you forgot to turn your lights on. They'll notice and you'll see them turn on your lights. And the first time that happens to you, you're gonna be like, I talked to the cars around me just by using a flash of my brights. It really does work. So I hope that you feel a little bit more comfortable understanding how you're gonna use all the bells and whistles in your car your turn signals to communicate your intention to turn either left or right, your hazard lights to brighten up the back of your car and let people behind you know that you're stopped for a reason, and your brights to flash others either as a courtesy to say after you or as a caution to remind someone if they forgot to turn on their headlights. And the last thing I wanna talk about is the horn. The horn is an important resource for you because it cautions people to stop. If you're driving down the road and you have the right of way and you see someone backing out of their driveway and you can tell they don't see you, you give a short little beep to let them know. If you feel like somebody's about to drive quickly into your intersection and you have the right of way, maybe you honk louder because you wanna make sure they hear you and that they stop. The horn is used as a caution sound to alert people to stop. Please don't honk at people just to be mean, right? We all just, you know, we're doing the best we can. So sometimes you might notice at a stoplight that's turned green that someone takes just a second to get started. Just give them that second. You don't have to honk. But let's say it's been like 10 seconds and you can tell they're on their phone and they don't notice that the light turned green, then try to give a gentle honk. Between the hard honk and the gentle honk, you'll be able to communicate with others to keep yourself safe, to keep traffic flowing. And that's your goal, right? Keeping safe and keeping flowing. Thanks for joining me today to learn about all the bells and whistles. And it's important that you know these, not only for your safety, but on your driving test, you have to be able to use all of the auxiliary equipment. Of course, you're gonna use your turn signals. If there's a hazard, you have to use your hazard lights. And if there's a reason to honk, you have to honk. So it's important not only that you learn how to use them, but you're able to demonstrate it on your test. Good luck in everything you do and use all the bells and whistles to keep yourself safe. 
Have a great rest of the day. Thanks for stopping in to learn with me today.